and we'll try to pair our answers with that, right? So in A, uh, the text, per, or at least it starts with providing background on an issue impacting players. I think that's fine. It examines research illustrating how previous player choices trigger occurrences of that issue. Well, let's break that down. The issue was, in our example, I was unable to find grenades, my preferred item, right? So I, my player choice was I would choose C4. There was a big indicator I would choose C4 because it's the same type and I had previously chosen it. So me choosing C4 does not trigger there not being grenades in a match, right? So this is just completely irrelevant. So not going to be A. In B, it presents a pattern increasingly identified in Fortnite matches, true, relates a finding formed by two researchers analyzing that pattern. I think that's okay. And then offers details that demonstrate how the researchers arrived at that result. So that's tricky. So we have an aim. We have what they were looking for. The methodology, how they arrived at the results. This is all their results right here. Um, they give us, you know, everything that they found, the patterns they discovered, but we don't know how they arrived there. So how we could have answered B, like what they could have included in the passage is like these researchers analyzed, you know, 100 players through a thousand matches to kind of discover this compelling indicator, right? So again, B, we have no methodology, not going to be correct. In C, it highlights an obstacle encountered by a group of players, sure presents a key observation from an analysis of player behavior related to the obstacle. Sounds great to me. And then indicates the broad relevance of that observation. So it seems like that's been the tricky part, right? Uh, with B, it was the third line. In C, it's going to be our third line here. So do we see that final part? They indicate the broad relevance. So they did find that for the same item type, the pattern held true. I would continue to choose C4 in place of grenades because I chose C4 before when I couldn't find grenades. But look how they expand. It wasn't just this example. The trend remained consistent across different things. They said it remained across objective measures, multiple measures like utility. So it wasn't just like I chose an explosive in place of another explosive. It could be I chose an assault weapon in place of another assault weapon. I chose something more utility based in place of another utility item but it also was found in subjective measures. I like how something looks and I chose something that matches that style or the color or the rarity. So they definitely give us this kind of broad relevance, not limited to just the specific example they start with, right? So C really nails it. 